Finally, let's change the topic and talk about travel of a different kind as we continue our summer travel getaway series. You know, periodically we feature a vacation destination that may be perfect for you or your family. For example, how does a tropical getaway sound? A Caribbean escape with crystal clear waters, pristine beaches, and an island breeze, all in a fun-filled environment. We'll enter St. Martin. It had been quite a while since I last traveled to St. Martin, and I have to admit, I was impressed all over again. Situated in the Netherlands Antilles of the Lower Caribbean and about a four-hour flight from the East Coast, St. Martin is as beautiful and as fun as ever. Let's start with the beaches. There are 37 of them, and each different from the other, and each with its own unique feel of adventure or relaxation. Some are clothing optional, if you're so inclined. One of the more popular beach spots, though, is here at Sunset Beach Bar and Grill in Maho. It's been rated as the number three best beach bar in the world and number one on St. Martin. It's where I found Fred Keels, who visited from Holland years ago and never left. This is your home now, huh? This is my home, man. This is my home, and I'm always emailing to my daughters and my son in Holland. You stay in Holland because I stay in here. <laughs> Enjoying your pipe. I enjoy my pipe, of course. This beach bar is located right next to the airport, and you'd think that the planes are a big distraction. But actually, to the contrary, they're a big attraction. You see, they even post the takeoffs and the landings for the tourists. We're sitting here drinking at your bar right now. USA with them, Charlotte, 318, Charlotte. But here's what the fuss is really all about. Tourists, you see, love to get caught up, if you will, in the plane's backdraft to see if they can stand up to the explosive winds. Photographer Mark Edward Harris captured this time-lapse photo sequence of two crazy tourists who had to give it a try. Actually, a lot of people get blown away in St. Martin. A drive through all the local communities can be breathtaking with the unique topography of the lush green hillsides serving as the backdrop for the 37 square mile island. Mind that you take the time to stop at local hot spots like Grand Case where they grill right in front of you, right on the beach. These are called Lolos, and you've got to try the fresh grilled, clawless local lobster. Split them in two. Yeah. Split them in two. Uh -huh. And you get them in half, and you put them on the grill. And you put it with garlic sauce and garlic butter. And lime. And very tasty. Perhaps, though, the biggest attraction to St. Martin is that it's two countries on one island, the Dutch side and the French side. The Dutch side is smaller, but has more people, and a lot of people say it has more action, too. The French side is said to be more cultural and obviously heavy on French influence. Witness as you stroll through Marigo and notice the chic shops, or grab a bite to eat or a drink at a sidewalk cafe. One of the reasons why a lot of people like the French side of the island, first of all, is because of the fact of it being French. And that the idea of coming to the Caribbean, having one island that have a Dutch side and a French side, is very unique. You'll not find it anywhere else. We're the smallest islands shared between the two. But also very important for the French side is that people love to either have these little outdoor cafes where you can just sit down and have your coffee, get your baguette. Where else can you find it? And then you cross over and you're on the Dutch side. Hey, you can't want it better than that. Where we have the shopping, we have the nightlife, you name it. And that's what makes it a unique destination in the, uh, in the Caribbean. We are basically a total package. Because of its proximity, St. Martin is also a gateway to other nearby islands as well, like Saba, St. Eustatius, and St. Kitts, and just a $15 ferry hop to Anguilla. In 18 minutes, you're there. Anguilla is a quaint but gorgeous celebrity hideaway and known for its white sandy beaches, which have been named number one in the world in past travel publications. 
Can you see why? If you go grab lunch at Smokey's at the Cove or tee it up like I did at Timonos Golf Course at Cap Chaluka, they'd love to see you. So whether you're poolside at one of the many luxury resort hotels or cliffside just taking in the island view, St. Martin will likely suit your getaway fancy. St. Martin, check it out. That's it for this installment of The Report. And for all of us here on the Comcast Network, I'm Art Fennell. We'll see you next time.